Welcome to demonstration video of transient stability analysis using TSSE. Now in this video, we are going to build the same network which we studied in our previous lecture for transient stability basic concepts. So we are going to uh, create, uh, take a generator which will be connected to the infinite bus system with the help of two transmission lines. And what we are going to do, we are going to simulate a disturbance close to the generator bus and trip one of the line and see how the angles are impacted by this disturbance. So this way we will be know how this the basic concepts which we developed during our lecture can be implemented with the help of PSSE. So for this purpose, this is the main window of PSSC. You are already uh, familiar with this window. So now what we are going to do for performing this analysis, please note the steps. The first step is to open our save case. So performing transient stability analysis in PSSC, please note down the steps. The, the first step is to open the case, the save case which we have been using for our load flow analysis, the same case. So we will go to open, we will browse, so the window has opened in its uh, natural form, the example, we are going to go to our drive where we have saved this case and my case is SMIB32, so I open this case. Here if you see, the case is a very simple case con uh, consists of, of only two buses. Now to further understand this case, let us open the SLD file, if you have the SLD file, it's okay. If you do not, you can create a SLD file. So for SLD file, again open from this drop down list, select slider binary file and select SLD. So now if you want to create this case, what is this case? Here we have this swing bus known as bus number two. At this bus, we have a generator with P gen of 50 megawatt and you see we haven't provided any Q max and Q min value. Why we haven't provided? Because we are assuming it to be an infinite bus and how whatever the reactive power is required by the system, this is going to be provided by this bus. And its source we haven't changed. So you can use X source is equal to 1 at 100 MVA base. So nothing has been changed here. So first of all, you will going to create this. Then we have con uh, assumed a load here of 100 megawatt and 50 megawatt. So you can create a load on this bus. Then this swing bus is connected to the generator bus uh, which is also at 100 kV. Here the bus is also at 100 kV. So we are assuming 100 kV. You can assume anyone. So for this purpose 100 kV. Then this is connected to a generator. The generator P gen is 49.99 megawatt, the maximum value is 100 megawatt, minimum value is minus 100, Q max is 100, Q min is minus 100, MVA base is 100 and X source is again 1. So you use this value to model this generator and the X trans is 0.2 per unit. So when you use this case, you will be able to perform the analysis. And for the transmission lines, we are assuming the transmission lines to have an impedance of only 0.2 per unit. So use 0.2 per unit value for though. No R, no B, only X with a value of 0.2 per unit. So once you ha have set up this case, what are we going to do is first of all, we are going to perform simple load flow analysis by solving this case. So everything is okay. I go to solve. So the case is solved in one iteration. So this is step number one. Create a case and solve it. If you already have an existing case, open this case. Now we need to convert this case into its Norton equivalent or current injection source. How can we do that? To uh, perform this analysis, we have to perform some tasks. So the first task will be to go to power flow, go to convert load and generators. So when you will click on the convert or reconstruct load and generator, a window is going to open. In this window, select convert generator and use Z source. So use Z source as the conversion uh, for the conversion. Similarly, we need to reconstruct the loads and for reconstructing the load, we are going to take the worst case scenario, which is my active load is going to be 100% constant current load and my reactive po uh, uh, power load is going to be 100% constant impedance load. 
This will provide us with the worst case scenario for the load. So always use this option. And we want to perform this option for all the buses in the system. So keep it all buses and press convert. This way my system has been converted. But this system still uh, needs to be further processed. Why, need, why we need to per, uh, process this system further? Because now we have converted into current injection source. Now we need, to, we need to convert the algebraic equations out of this. So to perform the equations, what are we going to do? We are going to use power flow. We are going to go to solution and we are going to use fact. Factorize admittance matrix. So before factorizing, we have to perform this order network for matrix operation. So by this ordering, what are we trying to tell PSSC is that please create a matrix for this current with assuming this current injection sources. So for this, we are going to assume all branches are in service. So now my matrix has been created because this was considered uh, consisted of only two buses. So uh, we have a two cross two matrix here. Then again, power flow solution and we are going to make solution for switching studies because we are going to perform some switching studies once we have converted this case or we are ready with this case. So solution for switching studies. We are going to use voltage vector as start point because we want to use whatever our, whatever is our initial voltages or calculated voltage from the load flow analysis. We want to use the same voltages for the dynamic analysis. So for this purpose, always use, use voltage vector as start point and factorize before performing so that they per, uh, factorize the, all the equations. So when we press OK, now my system or my this case is ready for dynamic analysis. Now we can save this case. Now because this is a converted case, for saving the converted, converted case, please use a different name. What I usually do is, when I will save this base case, I am going to save it with a name underscore converted. So this converted will tell me that this is not a load flow case. This is a converted case which can only be used for dynamics. And I'm going to press open and OK. Now the next thing we need is the diary file. What is the diary file? We are going to uh, explain this diary file in detail uh, in our upcoming uh, lectures. But here you need to know that whenever we want to input the data into this uh, uh, PSSE dynamic data into PSSE we need to create this diary file so once you have this diary file created you can perform the uh, simulation so now here we just want to tell you how the simulation is performed so we are assuming that you already know about this diary file or you are getting this diary file from somewhere so now how to get this diary file you again go to open from this drop down list select dynamic model raw data file add will be used when we already have added one data file and we want to use another file but in this case this is my first file so i am going to use dynamic model raw data file i click on this and i am going to select the file so i have here file smmi underscore 32.dyr simply i am going to double click on this now pssc is asking me is this your diary file? Yes, this is my diary file. Do I have some kind of connect and connect file? These files are usually used if we want to create user defined models. But in this case, we are using the models which are already available in PSSC. So you can keep them empty. And the starting point for all the matrices or the indexes are 1, 1, 1, 1. So this is exactly what we want because we are starting from scratch. So for this and when we are going to press OK, a new file is going to create get created now here you see a new file is created for generator we have a model gen cls having an inertia of 8 and a damping constant of 0.1 similarly if you double click on this loads uh, the generator which was connected on the load side or which we call the infinite bus here we are not using an inertia because it is an infinite bus so we want 
to be infinite so without any inertia so it gives the maximum possible value here one governor model is uh, also used but we are not uh, interested in governor model right now so please leave this we are only interested in the generator model because we are performing classical transient stability analysis so once this is done the first thing you have to do is let us save this file now like we have a diary file and we have a raw file in load flow analysis we can create a file which has the whole data for the dynamic analysis this file is known as snapshot file so we are going to create a snapshot file but before uh, preparing a snapshot file we need to add some channels monitoring quantities which we are going to monitor so how do we select monitoring quantities we can select the monitoring quantities with uh, element by element or we can select them as a whole so now because we are performing this very initial analysis so let us go with the bulk so how to select the bulk quantities you go to dynamics you select define simulation you go to define simulation output and then there is this channel setup wizard so you will go to simply channel setup wizard you click on this now here is the different channels we want to display or we want to record so now because we are performing very simple analysis i need only one thing from here from the generator i only need my angle i am interested in seeing the angle similarly on the bus side i am interested in seeing the voltage of the buses so i have two buses i am interested in seeing the voltage of the both the buses and on the branch side i am interested in seeing the power flow active and reactive power flow so that we will know okay how much the flow has changed when this disturbance was performed in the system and we are going to select for all buses because we are selecting the whole system and you pre press on finish so once you press on finish now you see eight channels have been created how can you see these channels you can go to from this same dynamic data uh, here you can control tab to go to different data here this is network data so here it is displaying network data control tab now it is displaying sld control tab now it is saying dynamics data so this is my dynamics data you in the dynamics data go to data and click on channels so here the channels we have added so we have two channels for angle one is the angle of the generator this is will, this will record the absolute angle of the generator similarly this is the absolute angle of the infinite bus then the bus voltages of bus 1 bus voltages of bus 2 and the power flow in both direction the active megawatt and wars megawatt flow from bus 1 to 2 and bus 2 to 1 so in either direction it is there now that we have the channels selected now we can create a snapshot file which will be the combination of all this so for this purpose we are going to control press control s and see now pcc is telling me please make sure that you have snapshot data selected and in this it is telling me the destination this is the destination from where and the file name is now in the form of dot snp so this is okay for me i have number of 12 number of channels in this this is fine everything is okay keep is as default so i will now save the case as smb_32.snp when i press okay now i have this snapshot file created at time t is equal to 0 so this is my initial time where nothing has been initialized but everything is ready for simulation 